this video I'm going to be doing the meltdown method stocking cap bullshit whatever um I'm gonna be using this hair that I got from Amazon um, for 38 41 yeah she tangles she's synthetic synthetic hair tangles so everybody that says synthetic hair is too tangly tangles too much bring a brush bring a brush bring a wide tooth comb bring whatever because she gonna get tangled whatever so like you know like unless you get virgin hair brimmy hair brazilian hair any of that she not gonna get tangled but she gonna get tangled either way it go but yeah you see i got it happening i don't have my baby hairs off because i didn't plug my baby hairs but keep watching you're gonna see how i do it so yeah uh sorry about that you're excused <laughs> so yeah keep watching and you will love it uh bye bye <laughs> So though, so though, it's your girl Morgan here. I'm going to be using my wig I got from Amazon. It's 1B, my got to be styled glue, and my free spray. And some of my foundation. To lay my edges on, I'm going to be using my Echo Styling. Here, I'm brushing out my wig. You see it has three combs. One in the middle, two on the sides. There is no comb in the back. But I have the elastic bands that came with it, which is handy. I plucked her off camera because it took long. I don't have a stand for her, but I didn't pluck her that far because that's how my actual hairline is. I have thick hair and then thin in the front. Sorry about my boyfriend in the back. But yeah, here I'm using my Dream Lover Online. That's what I got it off of Amazon. It is the little white lady. It is like the regular wig caps. Her face is funny. Tried to copy her. Yeah. Um, it came with 10, so I'm going to be using one. Here's one of mine right here. You see, I don't have edges. I was in eighth grade and pulled them out. Here, I'm going to be using my Echo Styling Gel to lay my edges down, and then I got to be glued to, oh, excuse me, to keep it there. So, yeah, watch and see. Sorry about my boyfriend in the back. He's playing Dragon Ball Z. Make sure that the stocking cap is over your ears and over everything. I'm very nervous, as you can see, it is about to start. So here I'm using my Echo Styling Gel to lay my edges down. I have my um, hair toothbrush, don't use your mouth on, that's how I know it's my hair, because it has brown on it for my makeup. I'm just going to be using my Echo Styling Gel to just lay it all back. I don't use my Gatsby glue because I honestly truly don't want to wash it up, because once I wash my hair or get it wet, it's going to have shrinkage. And to be honest, I hate shrinkage because then I have to blow dry my hair again and again. So yeah, there, I did it. So I'm pulling it over, just laying it down. And now, <clears throat> I'm going to be using my got to be glued. I put it on my hand and I use my toothbrush. Do not use your hands. It will stay sticky and it won't stick. If there is oil, I wash my hands and everything. I'm doing it. I am very nervous. I said, you know, this is my very first time doing this. And I really, really hope it comes out as I wanted it to. I'm just putting it over my edges and everything. I never really use the yellow bottle. It's too white and creamy and everything. I don't like that. Sorry for staying like that, but it's way too white. Um, I like the clear gel. I don't know, I feel like it has a better hold than the white one. I don't know, I've never used the yellow bottle and I tend to not use it because I'm stuck on the black bottle. But, as to see, I'm putting it a little bit in front of my edges. I am putting a little bit in my hair. I did not mean to do that, but I did it anyways, sorry. But yeah, I put some on my ears and everything, close as close as I can to my ears. Right now, I'm getting my air dryer. I got it from Walmart for 30 bucks. As you can see, my second hair dryer, the first one didn't have a cool setting, so I was always air drying the glue, which took a long time. I'm plugging it in right now. Now I'm air drying it. You wanna make sure that it's air dried and everything. You wanna do like three layers to make sure that it's soft and secure. Make sure that it's soft and secure and everything. You want to make sure that it's nice and dry. You don't want to leave it tacky. You don't want to do anything about that. So you want to just like make it dry. It was taking a very long time. My boyfriend was distracting me. Do not mind him. I am doing this in his dorm. I didn't want to do it in mine. Because it was just, I didn't have all my stuff over there. I usually do my hair over here. Because I hate being alone. 
Right here, I am just picking something off of my Hulu account because I was getting bored. I am actually looking for something to watch. Hulu didn't have what I needed. And so I'm just gonna watch The Amazing World of Gumball to pass time for myself because it took a very long time. I did my three layers, my second layer, well, my third layer off of camera, my second and third, because it was taking too long. I didn't want my video to be that long. But here I'm using my free spray. I have the hand of Teddy Grahams. He loves his Teddy Grahams. Um, I'm using my free spray right now to you know, have it have a very extra hold. I dried it off of camera. It is very dry. Now I'm looking for the scissors. I didn't know where they were. Found them. Yeah, my scissors actually like really, really suck. Hair dryer was in the way, sorry. My scissors really suck. They're not really for cutting stuff, but I tried my best. Oh my gosh, you see my face. I am like really ecstatic and nervous and everything. This is my first time doing it. So I'm like really focused on cutting it. So you know I cut off my extra hair on the front of my head. You wanna make sure you cut it all the way to your ears and everything. I kept my elastic band in the back because I wanted it to be like extra holding in the back. I didn't want it to come forward. But you wanna make sure that the little flip ups and everything from your stocking cap is like not there because then you're going to see them through the wig lace frontal. Oh, sorry, he needed me. My boyfriend made me some oatmeal because I was hungry. So I'm doing the other side. Mind you, I am right handed, so I couldn't really do what I wanted to do and just slide through that one. I cut part of my eyebrow hairs, which actually really irritated me. But I'm taking so long to do it because of my scissors. My scissors really suck, but I'm right handed and it like really sucks right now. So I just found out that part of it wasn't dry, but I was gonna make it work anyway. So I held it on with my finger, pushed that part back, and just cut it this last part off. I'm cutting off all my extra flyaways and everything because you can't have that because if you have it, it'll show through the lace frontal when you do it. You need to make sure that it's all laid down and everything. So once I'm done, I'm going to be taking off all the excess with my uh, saliva. I didn't have rubbing alcohol then. Still cutting off some of my edges and everything. Ooh. <coughs> Sorry. Now I'm using my Got To Be Glue Gel to lay down the other parts I could not reach with my handy dandy scissors that are crap. So yeah, um, I'm just using my Got To Be Glue to lay down certain parts that were not laying down like I wanted to and I didn't want to show through my lace frontal that I have from Amazon. So yeah, um, I'm just doing that, you know, making sure all the little flyaways were just like laying down putting them to the side and everything else. Make sure that everything's just down. I didn't feel like using my hair dryer, I believe. So I'm just making sure I cut all the extra flyaways off, getting them off my head. And now I am grabbing my wig. I'm going to be making sure that my wig is extra tight and they're on the last one together. Now, mind you, I don't have a stocking on um, the comb on the back. So I have to make sure that they're super tight. Here, I am clipping all of my hair out of the way because I do not want to get into glue, which means that when the hair touches the glue, it's going to be super duper hard. Here, I'm using my number seven airway brush that I got from Walgreens. Mind you, I am a cheap girl. I don't get all my stuff from like those, you know, Huda, Benta, all that other crap. I don't do all that. They have my skin color, it doesn't really matter to me about coverage or not because my skin is just clear. I just like for it to have that little smooth, shiny feeling. So I just use like the air braid and everything. So here I'm just using my brush that I got from this like crafting store or whatever for like $2. I don't care about the brushes or nothing because like, as I tell you, they all feel the same to me. I never feel anything different. I wanna make sure that my stocking cap is like a little bit darker than mine. A little bit darker than my regular skin color so that like because my actual scalp is darker than my skin color don't know how it should be lighter but oh well i didn't use concealer i didn't use my foundation
the free spray has a little bit of a smell to me and it's not a good smell but you want to make sure that it's tacky as you can see the little tack tack on my fingers but now i'm going to be moving my wig front here i am just I had to make sure that it was lined up because I didn't want it to stick or nothing. I have some of my baby hairs rolled under. You want to make sure that it's not happening. Do not use your fingers to hold the lace down. As I said before, the oil will mess up the glue. So I'm using the back of my comb, my parting comb. I don't have a rat tail, but I pull out my parting comb. I'm just making sure that it's laid down and everything. You see some of it started coming up. So I'll just make sure that it was holding down, firmly down. And I'm doing the other side real fast. I am not using my fingers whatsoever because I want the glue to stick. So I'm using the glue. See some flap came up. So I just make sure that it's okay. So I'm getting some more glue. I use my finger. My fingers are like super clean right now. So like don't like, don't talk stuff about me because my fingers are clean. I made sure I washed them before I did any of this. I washed them off camera. I did all of that. So yeah, I'm getting my hair, hair dryer and I'm just drying off of my, make sure that my glue is dry and everything. Cause I don't want it to be tacky when I put my edges down. Cause I do not use Gatsby glue to hold my edges down. I hate the residue afterwards, after that on my wig. So I just use my Echo Styling to just hold it down. So yeah, there we go. Now I'm using my foundation to color it and make it better. Product. Yes, it's still tangled. It's just synthetic wig. It's gonna get tangled. Don't. Yeah, it's gonna get like super tangled. It's gonna get like these frizzy ends. But that's what I have a straightener for. I'm gonna do it later on. Whatever. Female. Um, I have baby hairs. I just didn't feel like doing them. Uh. You know, like. Um, I would recommend it, but I would recommend doing this like. You know, like four or five hours before you really have to go somewhere. Or a day we don't have anything to do, which was I picked this day. You know, I picked this day because I don't have anything to do. I'm like, I have baby hairs. So, yeah. I, mean, I have baby hairs. I just like choose, like, not to wear Because, like, I just don't feel like going through all of that. And my makeup's not, not done. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, like, you don't have to worry about this sucker going nowhere. Like, it's safe and secure. And, like, you don't see no stocking cap. And it's not like somebody's gonna, like, get right in your face and say, Oh my gosh, your baby's cute. No. You know, like, I mean... I love her. Like, me and her bond really well. Even though sometimes she gives me sass by tangling up. Okay. She's a synthetic wig. I got her off Amazon for $30 or $41. Um, I'll put the link down below. That is everything. Uh, I mean, you can get these at your local corner store, Walgreens, CVS Pharmacy. I got mine from Walgreens. Like, last, I think on like Friday, I got it. If, yeah, I think Friday, Saturday, I got it. But yeah, um, so she's like not going anywhere, you know. You might feel like a little tug and pull or whatever, because that's like the glue moving. Like it just did, as you can see, because I had it too far up and it was pulling on my left over here. Like I said, I don't have edges. Um, so yeah, uh, try it out. Uh, I would rec I would not recommend it to do this 30 minutes or an hour. If you have to do something, I would just recommend putting a stocking cap on. The got to be glued one layer and. Blood drying, like, blood drying out clear and going. I would recommend to do this, uh, <laughs> like me. I would recommend to do this when, for four to five hours before you have to go, or a day I have nothing to do, because I have nothing to do today, and it is currently 6.01 in the morning. I have, uh, hard trouble sleeping, and I have nothing else to do. They can't, you know, like, none at all to do today. So, like, you know, I have nothing to do, so... Yeah, I just started to do this at 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna eventually go to sleep. So yeah, uh, that's just my plan. So yeah, um, hope you love her. Uh, if you keep watching to the end, you will see pictures of me with her with my baby hair. So yeah, uh, I'll let you girls see you next time. Subscribe down below. Comment how you think. Sorry. Comment what you think. My face isn't beat. I didn't feel like doing my makeup. I didn't feel like washing that shirt off either. Um, I'll put everything that I use down below in the description box, so subscribe to your girl. Holla, don't mind him in the back, he's my dog, I'm Love you guys.